Hello shrimp people, welcome back to Shrimp Life. Today's video is featuring my newest tank. I got some pink ram's horn snails and some Bloody Mary shrimp and I love this combination. The tank was set up a few weeks ago so in today's video you'll see a little bit of the progress that I've been making. The pink ram's horn snails have a very light pink shell and then the body of the, of the snail is this vibrant, vibrant pink. And the Bloody Mary shrimp are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just putting them in the tank here. They'll take a little while to color up a little bit more than they are. But if you've ever seen Bloody Mary shrimp in person or had them, they really glow and radiate this beautiful, vibrant red color. Very much a different appearance than cherry shrimp or sakura shrimp or fire red. There's a totally different type of look and you can really tell them apart when you see them in person. I absolutely love them. They're my favorite red type of shrimp to have. So I love to feed my, sh uh, my snails. So snails, you cannot just rely on biofilm and algae, especially if you want to breed them and you want them to be prolific. You want to give them a diet that's for them. And luckily, shrimp and snails like a lot of the same foods. So I have been feeding them mulberry leaves and a vegetable-based split food. And they absolutely love it. So an update on the shrimp since I got them is that there's so many saddled females and several buried females. I've had several of the females also give birth, so I have several um, batches of babies, newborn babies in the tank, and the colony is growing at a rate that's phenomenal and great. I mean, shrimp keeping you do require patience, so it's not going to happen overnight, but they are reproducing as quickly as they can. So. Really happy about that. Because snails do produce a lot of waste, I ended up having to do a lot more water changes than I normally would on a neocaridina shrimp tank. But because I'm only doing 10% water changes every five days to get rid of the snail poop, the debris, um, the shrimp don't mind it at all. None have dropped eggs. They're all thriving. So it's a really great, it's a great combination. The only thing I regret about this tank is that I didn't use black substrate, and I'll tell you why. It's because look at the color of these little snails. When they're on the substrate and you're vacuuming, it's very, very hard to see them. And I realized this very soon after I put them in this tank that it was a mistake. So if you're thinking about pink ramshorn snails, probably go for black. And they probably look better on black too. That color will really stand out that much more. All right, shrimp people, I will give you guys an update on this tank in a few weeks. The tank will be buzzing and crawling with baby shrimp. As you can see, there's tons of baby snails, but really excited to give you guys an update in a few weeks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.